Thank you, Mr. Chair. Secretary Murakis, thank you for coming uh, before us here today. As you may know, in April, Ranking Member Katko and I wrote a letter to yourself and the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Becerra, regarding the vetting for sponsors and caregivers of unaccompanied alien children at the border. We have not yet received a response. Can you commit to providing us a response on this within the next week? Um, uh, Congresswoman, I apologize that uh, if we fail to respond to your letter, and we most certainly will as quickly as possible. Um, Thank you. I, I pride myself on responsiveness, and we have um, received, um, we have many committees uh, uh, to answer to, and I, I apologize and will address that immediately. Thank you. Uh, yesterday, I questioned Secretary Becerra on the vetting required for UACs, and he stated that, quote, we are not going to do anything that imperils the safety and care of a child. Some of the children are being dropped off over the border wall and have perished, or they're, and they're brought here by human smugglers and traffickers. Do you agree that the smugglers put children at risk? Most certainly, and that is why we have enhanced our law enforcement efforts to address the smuggling organizations um, and the traffickers. So, so you agree, Secretary Becerra agrees, and I agree that these smugglers and traffickers are putting children in danger, yet we have seen no action from the Biden administration to disincentivize smugglers from bringing children as young as one across the border. If we're serious about protecting children, we need to stop making it profitable for smugglers to bring children into the U.S. Your administration's open border messaging is putting children's lives at risk, and 79,948 children have crossed our southwest border. While I was in the Rio Grande Valley sector earlier this year, Border Patrol agents told me that migrants are paying on average $4,000 a piece to be smuggled into the United States. Human smugglers are openly advertising their services on Facebook, claiming that they can promise a 100% safe journey. These cartels are making billions of dollars smuggling individuals and drugs into our country. Because of this, your agents told me uh, that they feel like we are aiding and embedding transnational criminal organizations um, and that the policies of the previous administration were working. If we want to tackle root causes as the Biden administration continues to state, then we should um, not be promoting policies that enrich the cartels and lead to worsening corruption in the Northern Triangle countries. Additionally, Congress yesterday I met with adults um, who have come into the U.S. legally with uh, their parents as children on a visa status, uh, but yet these documented dreamers are soon to be deported. I've uh, sponsored a bill regarding this, um, and year after year, their families have applied for the green card lottery only to be denied. When they contact your staff, they are told that they should get married or leave the country and come through the southern border. They are young adults that are being penalized because their parents did not commit the crime of coming to the U.S. illegally, and it would be um, incumbent upon you and your staff to address that issue. Finally. Um, I have co-sponsored several bills regarding SIVs or special interest visas. There is no greater urgency for your department to, than to bring safety safely to the United States, those who have helped us in Afghanistan during the global war on terror. The situation is becoming increasingly more dire with each day that passes and with reports that the Taliban has recently closed off access roadways. I'm a Vietnam era veteran. And I know firsthand that no one wants to see the image of a helicopter leaving a rooftop with people dangling from the footplates. Let us not compound the mistakes of the past with inaction in the present. Can you commit to working with the State Department and Department of Defense with a renewed urgency for evacuating these individuals from Afghanistan? Uh, Congresswoman, uh, yes, indeed, uh, we're very focused on that, number one. Number two, allow me to um, thank you uh, for your service, um, which is the um, noblest thing one can do in one's career. Uh, number three, um, uh, I share your view of the smuggling organizations, the trafficking organizations, and the harm they caused. It is why it was such a terrible decision for the prior administration to dismantle the Central American Miners Program and eliminate a legal and safe pathway for children to arrive in the United States who have a legitimate claim for relief under United States law. According and to it the is Board why we have, Secretary is why we have stood up. Of those individuals who come into this country and then go back for their hearing, um, there is only of 90% who um, do not go to the hearing, 10% who go to the hearing, 
uh, that only 10% of those 10% are eligible for asylum. So I thank you for your answers. I yield back my time.